Hello photography fans and welcome back to Lensvid. Today we're taking a look at two different camera rotating colors to see how they compare. In the last few months, there have been at least four companies that have released their versions of this rotating collar. We've been working with the small rig and the tall units, and we want to show you the differences between the two to help you decide which one is right for you. A rotating collar allows you to quickly switch from landscape to portrait mode without releasing the camera off the tripod. Even though this is a more secure maneuver that can actually be done with one hand, as we will see, both of these units have their own limitations. The unit consists of a metal collar with a thumb screw stopper connected to a base that you attach to the bottom of a camera with a provided screw. ATOL provides a set of Allen wrenches and extra screws to assemble the parts and to customize the fit to the camera. Small rig includes a magnetic tool that tucks away under the base for easy access. The ATOL unit comes with a riser that can be fitted to the base to accommodate for specific smaller cameras, while Small Rig's collar is made for the A7 line of Sony cameras only. ATOL's collar features 360 degree rotation, making it at least in theory more versatile than the Small Rig version. They also added a quarter inch mounting hole on the ring base and an integrated quick release plate for a backpack clamp. Small rig, on the other hand, features small details that add ease of use to their unit, like a lens alignment dot on the front of the collar and a lens release button. Good thinking, small rig. Both of these units are well made and both do the job. The design allows to swap lenses with the collar attached. The rings have a limit of 63 millimeters, but Atoll sells three bigger versions of this unit to fit lenses up to 95 millimeters in base diameter. The biggest differences between these two units are base design and collar movement. The small rig base is large and it actually increases the camera grip. The collar has only two positions, landscape and portrait. Atoll added clicks to the collar rotation to mark positioning. Its 360 degree rotation allows for upside down camera mounting that can come in handy for low angle shots. One thing about this rotation that you need to be mindful of is locking the collar after repositioning. The small rig collar features friction movement so the thumb screw doesn't really have to be tightened every time. With both of these collars, there are limitations with positioning that depend on the camera body. A bigger camera's grip will get in the way of the ATOL's full rotation so the selfie screen will be blocked by the tripod. One way to go around this limitation is using these collars with a camera with a top flip screen. One thing that we talked about when reviewing camera cages, and it is also applicable here, it is quick releases. Granted, this isn't the type of accessory that needs to be constantly removed from the camera, but for some hybrid shooters, for example, there are different configurations that would require to take this collar off. Small Rig has done this enough to know to include a tool for assembly, but we would love to see a design that allows to attach the collar with a quick release plate that's already on the camera. These are still first generation designs, so we hope to see them evolve into something that's more versatile. At this point, the installation is a little awkward since the lens gets in the way of the ring and you need to take it off and put on the body cap to protect the sensor throughout this process. It's an extra step and it can become a nuisance if you have to constantly remove the accessory. Another versatility issue that we encountered is using this on a gimbal. Technically, the newer gimbal versions all have really strong motors that can easily hold the payload even when it loses balancing after rotating from landscape to portrait. In our test, depending on the gimbal's space allowance and the camera body interaction with the collar itself, it may or may not be possible to use these units on your gimbal. In conclusion, it's fair to say that a rotating collar is a great accessory. These two versions are definitely geared for different types of users. They're both well made and they get the job done. The ATOL is smaller and it's more portable, while Small Rig's design is simpler to use with the lens release button and added grip. As for pricing, Small Rig's rotating collar is $80 and ATOL sells their version for $110. And that is it for our look at these two camera rotating collars. Go check out more content on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Lopez. Camera rotating collars. A black one and a silver one. Welcome to fans and welcome back to Lensvid. Welcome back to Lensvid. Welcome back to Lens. Date specific smaller cameras, while Small Rig Scholar is made only for the. Subscribe.